Okay, I want to make sure that you guys can see this. And this is my early retirement timeline. So here we go. So now let's talk about the retirement timeline before I get into the early retirement checklist. We all have our own version of the timeline because not all of us are 36 years old and not all of us start investing 10 years ago, right? And not all of us are debt free. And some of you may still be paying off your student loans, car loans, personal loans, or something else. And I still have a mortgage on my house and I'm not looking to pay it off until I'm in my 50s because in my 30s, I want to be more risk tolerant by aggressively investing in the stock market. And when I'm in my 50s, I'm going to be more risk averse because I'm close to my normal retirement age. Also in my 50s, I'm not going to have the room to fail financially like I do in my 20s or 30s, right? The 40s is like right down the middle. And in my opinion, uh, because my early retirement age is going to be 45, which I'll get into that in a little bit. So, and this is my timeline. I'm, I'm going to be 37 this year. I'm 36 right now. So I'm, 30, I'm six years into my FIRE journey. And the first bracket of my timeline is my long-term investments from now until the end of my time. And it says, in the end, at the end of the circle, it says death, right? This is the most important bracket of my timeline because I want to make sure I have the assets uh, and income for the rest of my life and not have to rely on social security because we all know that it can go go away at any time. And I was 31 years old when I start max, maxing out my Roth 401k and now my Roth TSP because it's going to have long-term growth. And keep in mind that I'm not touching any of these investments, okay? If you look at the 401k, IRA, TSP, and 43B, I'm not touching any of them until I'm at least 59 and a half. Even when I quit my job at 45, my investments in these accounts will continue to grow with compounding interest. This is why I maximize my retirement contributions every single year until I retire early. So from age 31, I started late, right? Like many of you always say, hey, I'm, I feel like I'm in my 30s and I feel like I'm starting late. You're not. So the year 2041, is when I'm eligible to withdraw from my 401k TSP, uh, traditional IRA and Roth IRA. And I already did the math on those uh, with my compound interest calculator. And again, you can download all of my spreadsheets for free by visiting firesuchet.com slash contact. Now I'm going to have about $1.9 million between the 401k and TSP by age 60. My wife and I are going to have roughly for the Roth IRA, we're going to have about $3.5 million in, uh, just in our Roth IRAs and roughly another uh, $600,000 in our uh, health savings account, which is right here. So I'm going to put it 600K. It's going to be way more than 600K. I just can't remember the top of my head. That's a total of $6 million invested by the time we're 60 years old, right? And at that point, I probably don't need to do the 4% withdrawal rate and just keep it at a 3% withdrawal rate or maybe lower because I doubt that we're going to need uh, $212,000 a year in spending every year. With a 3% withdrawal rate, that's $159,000, which is still a lot for a 60-year-old retired couple. My, my wife and I were the same age. Um, I'm just like about a month and a half older than she is. So again, I'm always going to prioritize my long-term retirement, which is the first bracket of my timeline because of how much it can grow over the next 20 or 30 years. Who knows? I might not even need to touch any of these retirement accounts until I'm 70 years old because I could live off of other assets. If Social Security is still around when I'm 62, then that's an extra cherry on my old-fashioned drink, and but it's not something I need to rely on uh, to to retire, right? And I know that's not the case for everyone, but this is my long-term investment bracket. This is my timeline. If you just start investing at 50, the ch chances are you will be able to collect your Social Security retirement benefits. But what you need to do if you're starting at age 50, because you need to be more risk averse at that point, and you're probably less than 10 years or 12 years, 15 years from retirement, you need to consider putting as much as you can into these retirement accounts. Because again, it's not 
uh, it's not always about the stock market returns. It's about how much you can contribute. If you're physically able, if you're emotionally able, contribute as much as you can because 10 years from now, 15 years from now, heck, 25 years from now, you're going to thank yourself for over, well, not over contributing, for maximizing your contributions every single year. Because remember, after 2023 has passed, you can't come back and contribute that 22,500. It's over by that, by that point. It's going to be the new year. So just keep that in mind.